Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Majestic. Um, I basically wanted to show a video of the Pioneer App Radio 2, or the DA100, um, connected to a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, this basically applies to the Note 2, the S3, the S4, any of the newer uh, Samsung phones, and uh, this can apply to pretty much any phone, but um, some of the issues will apply to the Samsung phones. Um, I basically have my setup running without any issues. Um, I've seen a ton of videos with people with workarounds and uh, ways that they've used Tasker and other apps to basically overcome some of the problems that um, some of the connectivity problems and video problems that people have had um, with the Samsung phones with the app radio. Of course, um, if you have not heard of the AR Liberator app, um, it is an app that requires root access that allows full control of your phone through the app radio too. Um, so it basically turns your app radio too in essence into your phone which is pretty awesome um, this is my daily driver car I use it pretty much every day um, and it's pretty cool now the first thing you want to do other than root your phone and install AR Liberator um, is to make sure that you have an official uh, Samsung MHL adapter before when I first got the phone um, I went on Amazon and went straight to the uh, direct Samsung or the official Samsung uh, vendor on Amazon and bought an S3 adapter. It said S3 and Note 2. Um, basically what it came with was uh, an S2 MHL adapter that had a 5 pin to 11 pin adapter on it that allowed, um, at least in theory, allowed for proper connection of some of the newer phones that use 11 pin. Um, the issue is when you connect that to the app radio, it was causing all types of issues with snow and green screen and all kinds of video problems using that adapter. Um, from the phone to the to the head unit using uh, HDMI or MHL adapter. Um, so I basically went to Samsung.com and got mine. It's the official one. Um, that was a few months ago. Now they actually have it in Best Buy. So if you have a Best Buy near you, hopefully they have it in stock there, and you can just get it from Best Buy. It's the, you know official one. And if it doesn't work, you can always return it. Um, but I got mine direct from Samsung. It took about two weeks to get here, but it was well worth it once I did get it. Um, Basically, the way I normally do when I get in the car with it, um, I used to get right in the car, connect my radio, or connect my phone um, to the MHL adapter, and then turn the car on. I don't do that anymore. What I do now um, is first turn the car on, or turn the radio on, whichever, and then once AR Liberator connects to my phone, which it is connected right now, and the way I can tell, it always turns the screen horizontal. Um, once it's connected, and I'll show you that later, how it actually looks when it connects on my phone. Then I'll physically connect the MHL adapter to the phone. Um, when I do that, of course, it pops up on the screen automatically. Um, before I used to, when I did, used to get in the car first and do it, I had issues where it wouldn't pop up on the screen automatically. Um, but with this method, it works perfectly fine. And you see it, the uh, bypass came up. I am using the micro bypass. Um, and I have had a little bit of issues with quirks with the uh, micro bypass. Sometimes the OK button is grayed out. You have to go back to the home screen and then hit OK again, but that's just a small issue, and it doesn't happen all the time. So as you can see, um, it basically opened up the Waze app, because I use it all the time, and it started my music. So see my music starts automatically. I'm using the Tasker app in order to do that. So I know you've probably heard of the Tasker app. If you haven't, you definitely, it's worth a download. And it, it does take a little bit of getting used to trying to use it or trying to learn how to use it. Um, I basically found the tutorials on YouTube from the uh, XDA Developers channel. Um, Kevin from XDA Developers had some really good videos on how to use Tasker, how it works. And he even has a beginner and an advanced videos on you know how to do some advanced functions with it. It's pretty cool. The videos are really good. And then I basically used those and kind of learned it on my own from there. But it's not that hard to do once you spend a little bit of time with it. So I have Tasker set up so that whenever I have a connection, Bluetooth connection with my Note 2 to the app radio and I'm receiving external power, if both of those conditions are met, um, then it will launch this app sequence or launch this sequence which basically starts ways, waits a few seconds, starts my music, and then um, dims the screen down to level zero. All that can be done um, just with the Tasker app with no plugins or anything. It's really easy. It's really, really, really nice app. It's good just in general to have. Even if you don't have this setup, it's, it's a good app to have. Um, 
And as you can see, I mean, the radio works perfectly fine. You can still, you know, go through everything here. It's um, working perfectly. So let's say a scenario like I used to have issues with was something like going to the gas station where I normally, you know, leave the phone disconnected, just turn the car off, pump the gas, get back in and turn it on. I don't do that anymore. Now what I do is turn the car off, disconnect the radio, and then, I mean, I'm sorry, disconnect the phone. And when I disconnect the phone, I have Tasker also set so that it will kill Waze. Um, there is a plugin that I had to use in order for it to kill Waze specifically because it's a persistent app. Um, I can't think of the name of it. I'll, I'll find out later and post it in the description. Um, but basically, uh, it kill, closes Waze and stops on music, even though the music will like, likely stop anyway. Um, I just have it set so that it does stop my music. Um, and then it goes back to the home screens and then it turns the screen off it turns you know puts the phone into standby mode which is nice that way I can get out of the car throw my phone in my pocket and I don't have to worry about touching it um, so let's say I'm done I pump my gas um, I'm back in the car again the phone again is disconnected it's not connected right now I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and then again make sure you wait I wait for ways or for an air liberator to connect um, if you look up at the top of oops if you look at the top of the screen here, it does say connecting. And then eventually, at least my, my phone, by default, it'll flip your, your screen horizontally. It does that by default. That's how I know that it's connected. And plus, it does say connected up at the top there. So now you can go ahead and connect your phone again. All right, the phone's connected. Give it a minute here. It should, yeah, it pops up on the screen automatically there. And again, I had issues with that happening before it popping up automatically. That wouldn't work, and I had some issues. And I basically had to go through some weird process to try to get it to work again. It was like a Bluetooth-related issue. Again, uh, Tasker starts ways up. Music's working perfectly. Um, so pretty much good to go. Uh, again, um, it, it took me a long time to try to get this to work properly. I have the screen set to zero. There are apps where they have like the S3 standby um, and some other apps that will turn the screen off completely. Um, whenever you, you know, you can set Tasker to do that, turn the screen off completely. I have had some issues with it in the past, so I decided not to go that route. And you don't want your, you know, you don't want it to be at full brightness because it will drain your battery. It will absolutely drain your battery. Even though it is receiving external power, it will drain your battery because the screen just takes so much power. Um, so you want to either manually turn your screen brightness down or you can have an app such as Tasker do that for you um, when, when you set up your task. Um, but this is pretty much it. I've got it working fine. Um, I've got the Nova Launcher app um, so that I can do like screen gestures when I'm at the screen. I did see another YouTube video for that. It pretty much was a good idea um, to do certain functions. Like if I want to call a specific person, I can just do a turn or you can do a pinch or, you know, a spread. Those functions work perfectly fine, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and post it on the video. Um, this has just been working flawlessly for me. I'm finally happy with it. I was ready to get rid of it. I know the App Radio 3 is coming out later this month. I'm interested to see how that works. As far as quirks I've had with the App Radio 2, it's nothing serious. Um, I do wish the screen was a bit brighter. In heavy sunlight, it is a bit difficult to see the screen. I wish it was uh, 720p, that would help also, because sometimes, even though my Note 2 has a huge screen, I'm sometimes looking at my Note 2 screen just because it's so much clearer than the App Radio. Um, I don't think either one of those issues was addressed in the App Radio 3. One issue that they did address, though, was the lack of AT, AT, A2DP, um, which it now has. So you basi basically Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, so you can now, without connecting your phone, you can actually stream Bluetooth you know, Bluetooth audio, just like you would with some wireless Bluetooth headphones. So that's cool that they did add that. Um, but I just wish they did a little bit more. So we'll see how that goes once it's actually released and people start getting it and messing around with it. I don't know if it works with AR Liberator yet. I do know that at this time it has not been tested. So we'll see in the future how that goes. But hopefully this video does help you guys out that have the uh, S3, the S4, or the Note 2, some of the newer Samsung devices. And it'll probably help out some guys that don't even have a Samsung device. You know, just some of the issues that you could possibly come across with it. Um, but this works just fine. So have fun.